we are bringing the full power of analysis services to Power BI. Analysis services has a rich heritage in enterprise BI, allowing reusable semantic models to be reused in enterprise organizations with fine grained management capabilities because these models are owned and managed by IT. They have to be deployed across environments. They have to follow application lifecycle management processes. They have to align with fine grained security requirements. So here I have a management studio and I, I'm actually connected not to an analysis services server in this case, but I'm actually connected to a Power BI workspace. And here we have the same data sets visible in the Power BI workspace. From Management Studio, I can perform fine grain data refresh operations, I can debug queries, I can run scripts, I can set up security. Um, and so in this case, I have the partitions here, which are generated by incremental refresh, and it gives me that fine grain uh, data refresh capability. We can also connect SQL Profiler. As you see here, uh, this is actually connected to the same Power BI workspace. So we can debug queries, we can look at the, the query plans, we can figure out whether we're getting aggregation hits, et cetera. All of these capabilities for BI professional developers and professional business intelligence practitioners. This open platform connectivity also opens up data sets for third party tools, including client tools, as well as community tools and third party management tools. So I have a tool here that is actually a joint collaboration between Microsoft and Mac software. This is actually an open source project. And this is a kind of, you could think of it as a schema diff tool for Power BI data sets. So I've run this deployment configuration, which had the source and target workspace and data set preset. And it has done an analysis of every single one of these tables. And I can look at all of the differences. And then I can uh, hide all of the, the skip objects to just focus on the differences. And I can uh, select which objects that I want to deploy. I can use this for many purposes. I can reuse objects across models. I can perform branch management from source control. And I can use it to, in an agile manner, deploy objects across environments in a safe way. Because I can pick and choose objects that I want to deploy, that I'm ready to deploy. And uh, so if I pick these as well, I'm going to skip these. Now I'm going to perform a validation to ensure the integrity of the target model. So it's not going to let me compromise the integrity of the model. And I'll go ahead and uh, at this point, I could generate a script that would be run from SQL Server Management Studio. But in this case, I'm going to go ahead and just update the target. And now I may have deployed these objects to a different environment in an agile way, for example. And if I refresh here, you should see that the objects that we pushed to the target now have the same definition. 